What is climate change? First of all, let's talk about the difference between weather and climate. Weather describes the day-to-day -day conditions of the Earth's atmosphere. For example, the weather in Manchester might be warm and sunny on one day and cooler and rainy the next. When we talk about climate, we mean the average weather patterns over a long period of time, 30 years or so. For example, the climate in the UK is temperate. This means that overall it gets cool, wet winters and warm, wet summers. Other types of climate are tropical, like in Thailand, which is hot and wet, humid, or desert climate, like in Egypt, which is hot and dry or arid. The climate of a country depends on several different things. Distance from the equator, distance from the sea, altitude, or how high or low the ground is, ocean currents, and prevailing winds. However, over the years, the climates of different countries have started to change. This is called, well, climate change. So what causes climate change? Natural causes. So here's the thing, climate change is natural. Over millions of years, we've gone through lots of different warm periods and lots of different cool periods. Take the Ice Age, for example, and the warm periods in between known as interglacials. These past global warm and cold periods are thought to have been caused by natural things. Firstly, the amount of heat, aka solar output, that the sun releases can fluctuate or change. If the sun releases more heat, then the global temperatures will go up. If the sun releases less heat, they'll go down. There can also be changes to the way that the Earth moves around the Sun. These are known as orbital changes. The Earth can orbit in a circular shape or an oval shape. Depending on what way it's orbiting, the Earth can sometimes be closer to the Sun, making it warmer, or further from the Sun, making it, you guessed it, cooler. These orbital changes happen every 100,000 years, give or take. Finally, volcanic eruptions can cause changes in temperature. In 1815, Mount Tambura in Indonesia erupted. It was the most powerful eruption in the world for 1,600 years. It released so much ash and sulfuric acid into the atmosphere that it blocked out the sun and caused something called a volcanic winter. Global temperatures dropped and the following year was known as the year without a summer. However, in recent years, there has been a consistent period of global warming of the like we have never seen before. In fact, between 1880 and 2012, average global temperatures went up by 0.85 degrees Celsius. It doesn't sound like much, but every little change to the natural temperature of the Earth can have a huge impact. Most scientists agree this change isn't natural, and it's being caused by humans. Human causes. The recent increase in temperature is caused by human activity. Driving cars, manufacturing and farming all release harmful gases such as CO2, methane and nitrous oxide into the Earth's atmosphere. These gases are called greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are interesting little things. We have a love-hate relationship with them. That's because we need them, but they also can be bad for our planet. You see, Greenhouse gases absorb some of the sun's heat. This is called the greenhouse effect and it's perfectly natural. If we didn't have any greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, then the earth wouldn't stay warm enough for any life to exist. So without the greenhouse effect, we wouldn't be standing here today. However, the amount of greenhouse gases in the earth's atmosphere is increasing due to human activity. If there are too many greenhouse gases absorbing heat, well, yeah, you guessed it, the Earth is going to get too hot. This is called the enhanced greenhouse effect, and it is not natural. I've already given you some examples of human causes of climate change. Can you think of any more things that humans do that release greenhouse gases? Deforestation, burning fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, economic development and urbanisation are all examples of human causes. What evidence do we have of climate change? So, how do we really know that climate change is happening? Do you know what evidence scientists might have used to prove it? Ice cores show us changes in greenhouse gas levels in the atmosphere up to 400,000 years ago. 
They prove that there are more greenhouse gases in our atmosphere than there ever used to be. We can use photographic evidence to show how much ice has been melting over the last 50 to 100 years. And we can also look at the changes in sea levels. Average sea levels have risen by 20 centimetres since the year 1900. So, now we know that climate change is happening. In the next film, we'll be talking about what climate change really means for people and the environment. Click here to start the next film.